Hello, and welcome back to Llama Llama 2. Last time, I find a teleporter and save point here in Ancient Chaos, which I still don't have a map for. And so I suppose my first goal of the day, ouch, is to kill this blue skeleton. And then my next goal is to try to find a map of this place. And I know from this uh, point in the map, oh, there's even a tablet over here that I haven't read. Uh, there are some directions I think I haven't gone. Oh, it's another Prey to Anu. I think maybe I did read that at some point and then I died. Uh, and so that didn't get saved, perhaps. Okay, and there's definitely lots of red eyes of retribution in this place. I see, so this uh, tablet over here is actually talking about the prayer location that's here, I believe. Yeah, because it has the same symbol. So... Yeah, I don't understand... Oh! I see, I looked in the direction that he was going, and then it said doo-doo, and something blue is glowing? The eyes of these statues are glowing, too. That's staying glowing. But it doesn't seem like I can, like, interact with it in any way just yet. Maybe I have to find all of these prayer statues and somehow position my body uh, in the same way. Okay, there's one if I go right and then all the way down. Let's try to go to that one next, I suppose. And let's see. I think there's going to be five sigils based on how my inventory looks. And so does that mean there's going to be five different Prey to Anu statues? I'm not sure. Also, I'm unclear. Like, it seems like I'm standing anywhere in this area. Oh, maybe my katana swipes downward below the floor and ends up hitting inside this thing. And that's why the Eye of Retribution is coming after me? Possibly, maybe? Right, I didn't understand any of that. So at the bottom of this, there is another Prey to Anu thing. And so I think I can just, uh... Ouch. Fall down here? Yeah, over on there on the right. Is that one? Right, except for this one, he's lying on his back. Can I lie on my back? I don't know that I have a way to do that. Is there anything I can hold in my inventory that makes me look like I'm lying on my back? I don't think so. Oh, you know what I could do? I, this is going to be clever. Watch this. I can. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Run with the Gale Fibula. And then when you bounce back, you kind of like fall backwards. But it's not quite the animation that I thought it was. I don't remember if I've gone down or left from here. Let's try going left first. Yeah, I've not been here. There's a sigil, and I could use the grapple claw to get around if I were falling from above here, I suppose it looks like. So, all right, I don't have a map. Can I climb back up there and go to the left and then fall down there? Let's give that a try. If that's a thing I can do. Right, and I got a mantra. Oh, there's a doorway over here that I failed to notice. Zuankzu, he who does not pray to Anu cannot call upon Anu. Offer three prayers, lest your prayers fail to reach Anu. Okay, I've done one of them so far. And what does the glossary say about Zuankzu? who has a crazy hairstyle. Siris of the Kotu of Matsu, brainwashed by the sky people, tattoos covering her body, proves she's a Siris of the Kotu of Matsu. All right. That seemed a little redundant. Let's see, I can probably... Oops, I'm trying to kill this thing, but I think I have to wait until the head retracts. Okay, that managed to kill him. Now I can hop back up here. And back up here. I see. So I have to go that way. Got it? 
All right, this skeleton has gone to pieces, which means I can just kill him that way, and then I can go this way. Yeah, this is totally where I want to go. And I can grab this. Let's just try to stay alive. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not going to stay alive, am I? Oh, I see the thing breaking. Alright. Alright, I'm still alive. I have one hit point. <laughs> um, there's a lot happening in this room. The two blue beasts. One is angered, one shall close. If both are angered, wisdom will be imparted. So it sounds like I have to do something, two things at the same time. I bet you there's a shock room here, and I bet you this platform below me is going to fall. Okay, I was wrong about the platform falling. That one's going to fall. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Um, I know what I need to do now. So I can try to do that over more quickly. Except for I prayed to Anu in the room to the left. So let's do that again so I don't forget about it. Um... Yeah. Alright, I suppose I can do that off camera. Okay, lots more health coming into this room this time. Let's hope it pays off. Okay, we still broke that open. We broke that open. We read this again. Right, two blues that I have to do something at the same time. And then we remember that something falls over here. And I don't need the money, so let's not get greedy. Okay. And... Oh! Fascinating. Uh, what did that just open above me? Why... Why is that important? I'm not sure why that's important, actually. Should I go back down through there? I suppose I could try. Um, let's see. Let's deal with these guys first. I can jump back up here. Okay, that falls away. So if I come here... Why... Hmm. That seems weird. I'm not sure what that buys me, really. Also, what's up here? Is this a doorway? It is a doorway. Pangu! Our master is the Anunnaki king, Anu, come from the skies. His majesty keeps him from being touched by ground dwellers. All right. Oh, and I suppose I forgot to reread after I saved her entry. Pangu, leader of the Kotamatsu. All right. If the effects of brainwashing subside, he might become your ally. Okay. I should have seen that coming. Oh, gosh. This is from the original rooms where we first came in. Okay. Um, okay, so if you fall down to the bottom... Right, that makes sense. Oh, darn, 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 darn. Um, I suppose I have made some progress of a sort. It seems to me that this is breakable. Um, but then that wasn't, I think. Let's try to kill this guy first. Yeah. So that's not breakable for some reason. There's some kind of symbol in the bottom left that I hadn't noticed before. Uh, in the bottom left of this room. Abandon your desires. Right, and I never figured out how to do that. I was thinking about... Hmm. Is there a way that I could approach this room from above and, like, climb down to get over there? Or could I reach it from the top? Hmm. I have one other thing I would like to try from here. Let's bait this guy out. I'm going to try to uh, go save in a little bit. Um, my question is, can I get to the top right of this room? Um, somehow. Oh yeah, the symbol on the floor is right below my feet over there as well. So that's somewhat interesting. Uh, what I want to know is basically, yeah, that is breakable. Did you see that? There we go. Okay, so I broke that open, and it looks like there's a pressure plate there, maybe? Which... let's take a risk. Oh, it's not a pressure plate. Doesn't it look like a pressure plate? Let's try jumping up there one more time. Uh, this will probably kill me. No? Okay. 
Yeah, my feet there, it looks like there's something. Um, any chance that... Oh! I pressed a button and it gave me Anzu. Do I have to press the button to scan at all those places that I thought I saw things? There's like two or three places where I thought I saw a thing to pick up and I couldn't pick it up. And is it because I had to use the scanner on it? I think it might be. A uh, great eagle with the head of a lion. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Battle, they manipulate time. Okay, so we need time to fight Anzu, maybe? What I was trying to do was do that, see if that was going to help me. But now I want to go back to places where I've seen that before, and I need to go back to the hot spring here to heal up anyway. But just above the hot spring, when I first got the double jump, it looked like there was something up there. I wonder if I have to scan it with my hand scanner. So let's go try that now, because I realized I could jump up here, and it looks like there's something right here. Yep, Elder Zelpid, okay. So, protecting La Mulan ruins to their destruction, now he enjoys life, turned it into a tourist spot, he loved video games, now he's about finance, right, hired a bunch of women who seem to have left him at this point. Uh, when I go talk to him now, he's not there. Okay, so... I remember at least one in Heaven's Labyrinth by the Gryphon uh, is another spot uh, that I saw a thingy that I thought I could pick up that I didn't pick up, and it's because I didn't use the scanner. So let's go over there, and I'm trying to rack my brain for any other places where there may have been a glossary entry that I saw on the ground and was incapable of picking up. Because I didn't realize I had to hit the scanner button to pick it up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go get the Griffin one, and then if I if they come to mind, yeah, it's in this room. It's at the bottom right. But in order to get to that room, I guess I have to be in a different version of this because I have to go right from here. This isn't a pain in the neck at all. He says facetiously. Okay, so mantras, am I still in heaven? Yeah. So then I just have to use this to spin this around until I can get over into that room. Okay, I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, this time I can go right from this room. Here is where we fought the griffin. And then there's a place where I can fall down on the right-hand side. And now if I use my scanner... Oops. If I use my scanner... There we go. That's how I get the griffin entry. Okay. So, Griffin, a chimera with the body of an eagle, legs of a lion, created by Typhon to seal off the Gigas, it can breathe fire and create storms. So, yeah, there was a thing about creating storms. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. In any case, let's go ahead and save with that. And, oh man, I feel like there's other places where I thought I saw a glossary entry and didn't realize I had to scan it to pick it up. But I can't remember where they are right now. If any of you remember from my own previous videos, uh, feel free to remind me in the comments. Although I am, once again, recording a little bit ahead, so it'll be a while before I can use your comment to catch up. Okay, I guess I'll go back to Ancient Chaos now. And... There's definitely more places we could pray to Anu, and I don't know that I've ever gone right and up yet, so let's also try to do that, perhaps. And are there other things that I've been missing in any of these rooms? I really haven't been looking with my eyes very carefully uh, in these rooms to try to see what bits of excitement and adventure may be in store. Oh, okay, I made it. Oh, right, we've been up here before, I remember now. And I talked about how I don't have the clothes that I think would allow me to go through the purple flames there. And I don't think there was any kind of, like, top exit. I'd really like to get a map of this place, as I probably have mentioned already. Right, there was something up there that we could read. Can I climb these? I can. I did not notice these before. Oh, this does not look like a boss room at all. You who possess all power, heed warning that excessive power is not to be used. 
All right. There's something that looks like the uh, temporary save point in the bottom right, almost. All power. Excessive power. All the mantras at once, maybe? Not sure what to make of that. Whoa. Oh, is this the first room? I feel like the entrance through the Corridor of Blood is below us, and we've seen this before, possibly. Whoa. <laughs> Except Brahma's Four Trials. The Four Phases means to see the Four Ages. Place the correct offering in the correct hand for the correct age. Then Yggdrasil's All Shall Be Revealed. Four Ages. Are those like the gold, silver, copper, steel... Yuga thingies? And let's see, what am I looking at here? Do I want to jump down into this room? Let's imagine the answer is yes. Yeah, Kali Yuga, okay. Devarpa Yuga. Okay. Yeah, alright. So, yeah, I said when I was trying to figure that out last time and trying to look it up. Oh, look, and here's the... Oh, if we get all of them, do we get the vase? No, it's just another place to put a vase, it looks like. And then... I have a feeling if I press this, bad things happen. No? Okay. Um, I was thinking maybe I had to do that after I placed the four items above. Oh, this brings us back down. Okay, that's cool. To the save point where we first started. So let's go ahead and save again. So we've got a staircase. And then I don't remember. I don't think there's a way to get back up from there. So let me circle around once more. When I went up, was there a way to keep going up rather than to go across into that room? I don't remember exactly. So we'll try to do that. And I'm going to get hassled by this guy. I just know it. Ouch. And that guy. All the guys. Quit hassling me. Maybe I can do... Nah, my A button worked better. I should really quit complaining and just go buy myself a new controller. Uh, but I'm cheap and lazy. Oh, yep, yep, I forgot about that. Ah, darn it. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, well, in that case, from this room, I don't think there was anywhere interesting to go. And is this the room where I fall back down into the original room where we originally came into here from wherever we originally came from? Yes. Uh, Ro, hey. That totally broke. Have I done this before? Oh, boy. I got it. Ah, come on, A button. All right, here, let's do this. Um, I got a glossary entry, and I want to keep it. So, let's read the glossary entry. Kisikildilaki. Oh, right, that's that thing I already killed. Incarnation of night accompanied by the storm bird. Those who attack will be punished by the gods. Great. Okay, well, now we have a new direction we can go. We can go back into that room, and if we successfully swim out of the poison lava, good things can happen, so I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, I can probably jump down in here, and then... Oh, nope, I cannot. If I hadn't had the heavy boots on, I wonder if I would have uh, gone less down into there. So that's a thing to consider. For the future, I suppose I could take the boots off. Um, this might... Oh, no, we still have a long ways to heal. There is a doorway down there. I can use rolling shurikens, perhaps. Uh, that might have worked if I had hit him at the right time. Do I have another weapon that would be good at hitting him? Caltrops, and I've got tons of caltrops. This will probably, if I bait him out... Can I bait him out? I don't want to run into my own caltrops now. There we go. Yeah, that totally works. Okay. Go, go, Gadget Caltrops. Great. Uh, sure, while the Caltrops are evaporating, let's go check this out. 
Our hot spring will help you load a few more shots into the chamber. That'll be 50 gold, please. Thank you, bleep. All right, you're funny looking. Uh, psychic. <laughs> psychic? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm all over that. Payment process. You may enter the hot springs. All right, and we get the guide entry. <laughs> Um, I've got tons of money right now, and so there's no reason not to. Oops. Uh, Psychic. Human-type android, made by the first children. No specific objective. Irrelevant. Managing the local hot springs. Alright. A lot of the lore here. I don't know that I really grok. Uh, but... Why complain? Um, okay. So... Uh, that healed us up, which is great. We'll be able to read this, which is great. And... Um, I could probably defeat this guy. Can I just, like, jump up through here and hit him through the ceiling, probably? Yeah, I bet you if I stand right here... Yeah, I could totally hit him through the ceiling right here. Nice. Go, go, Gadget Katana. Sky people and Anaki arrived in Nibiru, a land where people could not live. Among pure chaos, neither air nor water existed. Neither air nor water existed. I think possibly... Uh, hey, let's revisit the spring. Can I? I think so. Can I go back down through here? Yeah, sure. Great. Um, I have an ocean and wind mantra, I think, now. So that just reminds me of air and water and makes me wonder if... I'm out of weights, aren't I? Right, here's the starting room. Okay, great. Apparently I've never read this and saved. Poisonous lava will melt even the ice cloak. Brave it with garb that will withstand any heat. See, so yeah, there's definitely some kind of new armor that we're going to get eventually. Um, I guess let's try going to the left again. Ouch, hey. Ugh. So this is where we fought that thingy. There was someone selling something in this shop that I think might have been for more than a thousand, but I can't remember right now. Or maybe it was an app that we already got. What did this say? Right, yeah, okay. I already dealt with that. Uh, let's brave this again. Just to see who we got here. Oh, I could buy more weights. I actually need to do that. Yeah, Space Capstar. I already bought that. Um, so we're good. Let's buy more weights. Alright, 20 weights. Great. So... That's not immediately useful. Um, I'm curious. Well, I'm not gonna fool with it right now. If I take off the boots, like, will I sink less into this water? And will it make it easier for me to retraverse? Interesting. So, abandon your desires. And the uh, the wall has reappeared. Or did I not save with the wall the last time? Did I die again? I don't remember. And we've seen Abandon Your Desires before, haven't we? Like, that exact clue was used somewhere else. And on that one... I don't remember what we had to do on that one. Abandon your desires. And it just seems so curious to me that there was that breakable wall there, and then there's also that breakable wall there where there doesn't appear to be a pressure plate this time. Right, because it was a, th a scannable thing. Okay. So that's the reason that that one was there. It was just to hide the glossary entry. It almost looks like there's something above me right here. Uh, is there something above me right here? I think I'd be breaking it if it were the wall. Yeah, that definitely would break it if it were the wall. And I can just hang on that wall. So I don't think it's that. Hey! Quit being mean. Alright. Um, yeah, let's kill more blue skeletons now that we have the perfume bottle. Okay, and this just kind of cycles us around to where we started. Okay, here's another prey. So, how do I position my body so that I'm praying here? There aren't that many things that I can do. What does it look like he's doing? 
Looks like he has both hands in front if I swing a weapon. Is there something else I can hold? That looks at all like I'm praying? Hmm. I don't think so. So yeah, I'm not exactly clear how I managed to pray to that other one. Yeah. And then, is there going to be a shock room over here? I don't think I've ever used a weight to get over into this section. Kind of suggests that one of these pots would contain a shock room. Like that one. So for how would I get there? Oh, like this. Ah. I'm a genius. Oh, it was just a whole bunch of money. Like 300 money or something ridiculous. All right. Well, now I've opened that at least. Yeah, I don't know that there's anything else exciting for me here. So let's... Oh, right. There was this block that I pushed around. Okay. <gasps> I'm pushing a block. That's got to be it. I need to be pushing the block in front of this. So if I push it left and then right... No, I think I could push it right. Hmm. Let me think about this for a minute. I think I want to be on the left-hand side of it. Yeah, so I think I need to push it to the right... Yeah, I think... Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Let's find out if I'm smart or not. Uh, how can I not reach this guy from here? There we go. Alright, you were harder to hit than I would have imagined. Also, all you little guys are bad. Hey! Quit it! And there's still one of them up there. Gosh darn little guy. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna die! <laughs> a lot of things in here seem to give a lot of damage. Okay, so if I push this in front of here... Ah, oh, I really thought that was gonna be the prayer thing. Can I... Hmm. If I'm pushing it this way, I don't think that's right. Um, what does this look like? It looks almost like he's pulling it. He's looking down, kind of. And his arms are on the side. Can I... Hmm. I'm trying to make my body do these various contortions. Like, it seems to me that that's the answer. Like, I'm trying to pose my body in a way that looks like this dude. Oops. Well, so much for that. But I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Let's maybe not worry about that right at this moment. Can I scan these things in the wall here? It doesn't appear that I can do that. And I don't remember what that read. I don't think it was super important. Is there a door in the upper portion up there that, once again, I just failed to notice the doors because they kind of blend into the background? I think there might be. So let's go try to check that out next. And we'll kill these guys for the free shurikens. Ouch. I didn't see you there. I'm just going to damage boost. Oh, nope. I'm going to die. <laughs> Poop. I don't remember the last time I saved. Um... Let's imagine that I didn't do anything interesting and I haven't lost any progress. So is this a doorway? It is. Shenong. Give me the cash. No, give me what you got. Okay, then cash. Would you like weights? <laughs> uh, sure, let's give him the cash. I got your cash. He took all of it. Um... All right, he's been brainwashed. He's insane. Okay, well, we have to go back in. Okay, he took all my weights. We have to try all three of these. I can get cash and weights, no problem. Ow. <laughs> all right. Now, this is the type of game. Like, it could be that he's just there for the penalty. But this is the type of game where I can imagine that at some point I'm going to need to have zero cash in order to get past something. And he is the convenient way to get myself into that state. I could be wrong. But I could totally see that happening. 
Can I scan this? No. Can I scan this? Yes. Protective Spirit Statue. Supreme God of Indian Mythology. Brahma. Four faces, four directions. Ancient machine that collects it. Yeah, okay. We've heard a bit about Brahma. That's the vase-shaped thingy again. Okay, I think there might be one direction that I still haven't gone, but otherwise I think I've explored this place. I still haven't found the map. That really bothers me. It's probably based on previous places that I've missed the map. Somewhere relatively obvious that I'm going to kick myself afterwards. But let's not worry too much about that. Oh, da, da, da. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I can kick myself later. For now, I just want to try to ver- oh, Darn, darn, darn. I'm trying to just avoid the monsters, and that is not a workable strategy in this place. I need to actually kill some of them. In order to try to get where I'm going. Okay. Okay, you're dead. And I don't think it mattered if I climbed in the left or the right up here. And right, excessive power is not to be used. I don't recognize anything else in there, right? He's holding up something. I'm not exactly sure what he's holding up, though. And did I ever climb up this way? I did not. This looks like a boss room. That thing in the middle also looks vaguely familiar. I'm not sure why. Oh, this is like a place to stand. Uh, my scanner doesn't do anything in the background there. Or over here. Can I walk across the front of it? No. So I'm not sure how to, like, get down in the middle. Looks like a place you can get down in the middle. And obviously I don't know how to open this. Um... And I still haven't found the map. Great! Oh boy. Um, when I came through the corridor of blood here, did I have the double jump to try to get up to the top of this area? I'm not sure that I did. I don't know. We explored a bit of ancient chaos today. I have some ideas, like, starting to percolate in my brain. Uh, but there's still a lot that I have not figured out about this place. But I think that might be where I have to call it for today. And... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we will be doing next time. Yeah, so I guess we'll just go ahead and call it there for today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more La Mulana 2, where if I need money again, I can easily get it with treasure fairies. Uh, so I'm not going to sweat that. And I'll see you when I see you.